Sir, am I correct? You said you were from Cameroon? Yes! I wonder how that is this time of year. Anyway, I think that we were discussing the moment you saw Billy fall from the bridge. Yes, I remember. I remember that he was working. He had the 2 by 4 over his shoulder, and I think a pipe also. What happened next? Well, I saw Billy start to wave his arms as if he was losing balance. You know, like this. Okay, and then? He was waving his arms, and the next thing I knew, he was tumbling backwards. He was tumbling backwards over the guardrail and into the water below. Backwards or forwards? You know, I am not entirely sure if it was backwards. I know it was backwards or forwards. It wasn't like sideways or anything like that. And you say you saw Billy fall backwards or forwards over the guardrail and into the water below? Yes, that's true. So how, about how high was this guardrail that you saw Billy fall over? Well, I am not an expert, but I would say it was about three feet. Maybe it was two feet. I am not very good with measurements. S was it half or more than half of Billy's height? It was less than half of Billy's height, I am sure about that. Did it reach up to Billy's knee? No, I am quite sure it didn't reach up to his knee. It was so short, and I think that's the reason he fell over it. It tripped him. So would you say he tripped, slipped, or something else? I would say it was a trip. Yeah, he was waving his arms, and then he fell right over the guardrail. I think that qualifies as a trip. Did you hear anything after Billy hit the water? Did Billy hit the water? Yes, he did. I heard a splash. After you heard the splash, did you hear anything else? Did you hear Billy do anything or say anything? You know, I have thought about this, and I am quite sure that I heard Billy calling after that. I was pretty sure I heard him yelling, Help! Help me, please! And after you heard Billy yelling for help, did you hear anything after that? Yes, as a matter of fact, I heard the other workers rushing over. I heard them rushing over and scrambling the life-saving equipment from our shanty. What is that? What did you just describe? A shanty. It is like a shack. It holds all of our tools and safety equipment. It even has some stuff stocked away, like first aid in case of extreme emergencies. Is that because bridge building is dangerous work? It can be. The main structure of the bridge was done and safe. Our job as subcontractors was just to polish our portion of the work and finish the thing. So the structure of the bridge was ready, but not the guardrails? Exactly, not the guardrails. When you were on the site, the job site, from November 8, 2019 until July 30, 2020, did you ever experience or attend any toolbox talks or safety meetings? Yes, toolbox talks. Just to go back, can you describe a toolbox talk in general terms for the jury? A toolbox talk is just the foreman or GC, general contractor, rounds up all the subcontractors or workers for a particular trade, or sometimes multiple trades attend. You might have your plumbers, your carpenters, your iron workers, whatever. They all get together and talk about the progress on the site, goals and safety. Occasionally, there will be a site safety inspector or supervisor going around doing checks, and we're encouraged to speak to them regarding any concerns we have or bring them up to the next toolbox talk. So let me break this down a little bit. A toolbox talk, as you just described it, is like a general meeting for workers. Yes. Is it mandatory to attend toolbox talks? Usually. Is it customary to sign an attendance sheet when you attend a toolbox talk? Not only is it customary, it is mandatory for all the workers in attendance to sign the sheet. What might happen if you do not sign in at a toolbox talk? You might receive a write-up or reprimand. I guess you could even get fired. You said you guessed. Is that something you know, or are you speculating? I am speculating. I can't say for sure. So there's bridge. Could you describe its structure to me more fully? It's big. It has archways like the Golden Gate or Verrazano. I'm pretty sure that when the guardrails are completed, it will be among the safest bridge in the whole country. How long did you work on the project? Me personally, I left about the time you said earlier. July, July or maybe August 2020. And when you left in August 2020, was that because of any particular problem or reason? Did you just get tired of the job? Or was there some other reason you left? Actually, it's got to me. Billy's fall really got to me. I have pride in my work, but I saw what happened to him and I said to myself, you know what, I should do something safer, like beekeeper or lion tamer. That's very funny. That record should reflect. That's a very funny joke. But seriously, is there any reason that you left the bridge site project in or around August 2020? It was really the stress. It went from a very relaxing workplace to one that was full of stress and backstabbing. People were cruel and I didn't enjoy my work anymore. Is that because the people started to point fingers and blame one another? After what happened to Billy, 
Exactly. You must have talked to some other workers from the site already. That's exactly what happened. Everyone was upset. They was like not cool with what happened to Billy.